What if I were to tell you that you can optimize the way your game looks on the fly while you're playing the game? Sort of like Reshade. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is gonna blow your mind. This is NVIDIA Freestyle. Like I said before, it works sort of like Reshade and on the fly and much easier to use. It currently works with 100 plus games. I'll leave a link for you down below in the description to all the supported games, it's pretty cool. For hardware, you're gonna need a NVIDIA GTX 700 or above series. For the software, you're going to need NVIDIA software driver version 390.65 or above. You'll also need to have GeForce Experience 3.12 or above. I'll leave a link for you down in the description down below so you can get those downloads. To get this set up on your software, it's very easy, one click of a button. You're going to launch NVIDIA GeForce Experience, go to Settings, and you're going to click on Enable Experimental Features. You'll also want to make sure you turn on your in-game overlay option. Launch the game of your choice. Once inside the game, the hotkeys are Alt plus F3. You can also turn on the overlay by pressing Alt plus Z key. I'm going to show you a brief demo of me using it inside Grand Theft Auto 5 with no graphics mods installed. Check this out. Now, I'm currently using a 3080 Ti with all graphics kind of maxed out at the moment. Let me show you my settings. And I'm barely even using a fraction of my VRAM at the moment. Once again, this is no graphics mods installed. The game itself looks pretty nice, for the most part. But what about that sharp quality and those really nice textures that we want, right? Once again, you can press Alt plus Z. It'll get you the overlay like this, and you can click on Game Filter. I like to use the hotkeys, which is Alt plus F3. You can have up to three projects, but first I'm going to use a script called In-Game Screenshot by Jedi Josh. I'll be sure to link that down below. Get some really cool effects like this, and we'll zoom in on our character. I chose Trevor because he's got a lot of characteristics to him. So we're going to stop it right about here and we'll pause it. And once again, this is still in game. It's all real time. I'm going to take the HUD off the screen. I'm going to press Alt plus F3. We're going to go to project number one. And this is where you can let your imagination go wild. I'm going to add a filter. You can make it black and white. If you're not happy with black and white. You could also come down here and you can change the intensity. Not happy with that? Just trash it. We'll add a different filter. How about brightness and contrast? If your game is too bright, this is a perfect setting for you right here. Click down brightness and contrast, take the exposure level and reduce it down a little bit. If your game too dark, you can increase it a little bit. You can also add a little contrast, some highlights, some extra shadows if you like. Increase the gamma. For now, we'll take this off. The color setting I think is going to really shine, especially if you installed a graphics mod already, but you're just not quite happy with it. You want to get a little bit more color or a little bit less color, depending on what the graphics mod did to your game. You can get those perfect skin tones that you want. Tint intensity, the temperature, vibrance. You can also stack filters on top of other filters. For example, if you want to make a video about maybe an old film, for example. And remember, this is still real time. If you're making video footage or content creation, you can see how this can come in handy. And here's the filter strength. Film dirt strength. If you're not happy with it? Once again, trash it. You can also do a letterbox, make it more cinematic. This is one of my favorites right here, Sharpen Plus. This is without any sharpening, and this is how good you can get with the sharpening. Intensity, and the texture details on Trevor's face. You can also do a split screen, like a before and after shot. Change the divider color, gradient fade, zoom, before, after. And remember, this is still real time. There's so many things you can do with uh, NVIDIA Freestyle. It is crazy. I only showed you just a portion. And for those of you that installed a graphics mod, maybe you really like it, but you just wish it had a little bit more zing, a little bit more pep, maybe a little bit more darkness, maybe a little bit more brightness, a little bit more color, a bit more clarity, more detail. And hopefully you got a little bit of use out of today's video. There's nothing wrong with stacking a game filter on top of a graphics mod. Until next time, I'll see you on the next episode. Take care and stay safe.